Eu queria ser um I wanted to be a demon. I wanted to earn a place in hell. I had already dedicated my life to a specific demon. Everything started going wrong when my parents decided to separate. When that happened, I lost the ground beneath my feet because they were my foundation. I was obliged to stay with my mum. However, she needed to work to provide for us to pay the rent and the bills. Therefore, I grew up in the absence of my father and my mother. Because of this, I realized that I developed an abnormal sadness inside of me and did not feel like being amongst people. I felt like isolating myself. During this period, my mother met a man and started a relationship with him, and she then decided to go live with him. My stepfather used to drink a lot, and he also liked heavy metal, so that helped me to dive headlong into this universe, if I can say that. During this time, he greatly increased his alcohol intake. He used to come home drunk and beat up my mum. As I was already listening to that aggressive and satanic heavy metal music myself, I developed a hatred for him. I no longer wanted to be at home anymore, so I met other people with similar stories as mine. We then started to visit cemeteries as we no longer believed in God, but rather in demons and in their existence. This was what we wanted to follow. In my mind, I believed that this would bring a solution to my life. I thought that this would help me somehow. We had already gotten involved with Satanism, I was already part of that, and I had dedicated my life to a specific demon, so the first tattoo I got was a homage to the demon. After this one, I had other tattoos because I enjoyed the pain of having a tattoo done on my body. It hurts to have a tattoo, and I enjoyed that pain very much. I enjoyed everything that was related to physical pain. I could taste blood in my mouth, so I was always biting my mouth. I bit my friend's fingers so I could drink their blood. It was totally and completely satanic. I was like that all the time. I would go out wearing a type of makeup called corpse paint, which is like zombie makeup, and I would go around like this. I wore a bullet belt with the intention of keeping people away from me. I did not want to have people around me. I wanted to be alone. This was because I wanted to become a demon. I wanted a place in hell. That was my intention. It was then that I started to have suicidal thoughts. The heavy metal music I listened to spoke about that. Besides being satanic, the lyrics spoke about ending your life. I would not sleep because I suffered from depression and I saw shadows. I could not stay home and when I did, I would fight with my mom. She was no longer with my stepfather, however, at this point, I no longer had any kind of dialogue with her. I used to think, I'm a completely empty person, so why should I stay here? When I was out in the streets, my body had an impulse of its own. It would throw me in front of cars and would take me to bridges so that I could try to jump from them. However, there was something inside me that would say, don't do that, there is still a chance for you. However, when I would look back to all I had done, there were no more chances for me. 
So every time I went out, my mom knew that I would try to kill myself. But I would black out in those moments and it was as if I was really manifesting. I would have some flashes about what was happening, but I mostly blacked out. I started hating myself because I was not even capable of killing myself. I developed a problem where I couldn't eat. I needed to be on IV fluids because I could not hold anything inside my stomach, not even my stomach fluids. I lost 25 kilos. My mom took me to the hospital and I was admitted so I could be fed with IV fluids through my veins. My mom was always there with me, making purposes, so in her own way she was looking after me. So she helped me with prayers and by making vows. When I saw that my mom remained firm even after all this, I then thought that I should give it a try because she was always speaking to me. Why not give it a try? I was discharged from hospital and the first thing I did was to go to the Universal Church. I was willing to sacrifice because I had sacrificed all my life. I had gone to extremes to achieve bad things, so at this time, I decided I will go to extremes with God too. When I arrived, I spent two weeks in the deliverance process, during which I manifested with demons. In the first week I was there, a voice had asked me to get rid of those things. So I thought, well, I will let go of these. I broke all my music CDs. I threw out all what was related to the heavy metal music I liked. I let go of everything that was extreme in my life and that was not good for me. I let everything go. During the week I was going through the deliverance process, I asked an assistant for help. This was so that when I would get baptized in water, that this would not only be a bath, but a real baptism, so that I could kill that old creature. I wanted to change because I was tired of suffering. I had nothing else to lose. I had lost everything already. I manifested for the last time, and on that Friday, I was baptized in water. Immediately. I saw a difference in me. Because this was a turning point in my life. I lost all the weight I had in me. After I was baptized, I went home happy. On the Saturday, I groomed myself like a bride. And when Sunday came, it was the best day of my life. I emptied myself. I gave everything up. I understood that I had to be the sacrifice itself. In order to know this God, I left it all there, on the altar. This was when he came upon my life. It was all so quick, because I wanted him. I strove to receive him. When he descended upon me, I experienced that peace, the assurance that he was there with me, that he accepted me, that he did not condemn me for anything I had done. It was the best thing that happened to me, and it was much better than I thought it would be. I became another person. I felt like I was embracing God. Today, I can say that the Holy Spirit exists because he took me from nothing. When everyone else was judging me, he accepted me as I was. He changed my life. He transformed me. Today, I am a completely happy person, independent of where I am or what I go through. It is marvelous. Even if we try to describe it, nothing can compare to him. Nothing. The first person I told that I had received the Holy Spirit was my mom. 
Today, she is my best friend. How could I have stayed so long away from him? See how much time I lost. I really wanted to have met him before. He was there, right in front of me. But I was blind. <laughs>